hello 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 and welcome back to dream queen by perla so aries this is your monthly reading for the month of july so let's go ahead and see what we have so right off the bat we had this energy of commitment uh moving things to the next level being ready taking risk so this month there's definitely this energy of a lot of opportunities coming in for you for some of you, this is going to be um, in direct with love relationship, either finally committing to somebody or having somebody finally commit to you. For others of you, this is an opportunity when it comes to career, um, career advancement, moving to the next level. Regardless of what it is, there's definitely an, an energy here to kind of keep keep an eye on it. When it comes to love, um, those of you that this commitment, this next level is coming into love, things are going to move very quickly, very fast. Uh, there's somebody here that may have been on the fence when it comes to a connection with you, may have been on the fence in regards to whether or not they wanted to commit, and they're finally making up their mind. So just be aware of that for this month, Aries. Let's see, what else do we have? Again, there's a lot of growth here when it comes to, to your life in general, right? Um, there's an increase in finances, um, whether it is, you know, getting bonuses or just getting gifts, but it's all coming in, in an abundant type of way. Ignore the noise in the background. There are trucks driving up and down and it's extremely early in the morning. Anyways, um, so again, there is here a, a lot of a lot a lot coming in. Let's just put it that way. For those of you that are coming or have come out of a relationship, it's almost like some of you are are wanting to take a break from relationships, from commitment, kind of wanting to be by yourself at this moment. And that is perfectly fine for those areas that have come out of um, a serious relationship. There is here a, a lot of energy of like being around other people, being exposed to, to new things. There are people that are coming into your life during this time that are going to, uh, it's, it's almost like they're bringing you into a different world, if that makes any sense. Uh, because it's a, it, you guys are experiencing a lot of different things. And I'm like kind of... <laughs> My words are like all over the place because it's like there's so much coming in. There are connections that you're making with people that are going to allow you to experience new things, things that maybe you have never thought of doing. Um, a lot of you are definitely in this energy of traveling a lot, having having the opportunity, the chance and the means to actually travel and to actually experience things that maybe for a very long time you thought you weren't going to be able to. Again, this relationship keeps on coming up. For some of you, you guys are either on the fence or you're not 100% sure if this person is going to commit to you or not. And this is your confirmation that they are. Others of you have been waiting or you feel like you've been waiting for like forever to find someone, to find a connection, to be in a relationship. And again, all of that is coming into play this month. There is here an energy of needing to continue on focusing on you, um, needing to make sure that you are aligned within mind, body, and spirit. Because some of you, again, when things start to go good, you have this tendency to to kind of stop, right? To kind of stop taking care of you or to stop prioritizing yourself and that is something that you're being told again not to do you should always continue on with the self-care the self-love and regardless of who's in your life or regardless of how good things um are going for you at the moment let's go ahead and see what else we have Some of you Aries are definitely coming out of a darker um, area in your life, a darker part in your life. There were certain things about yourself, about how you perceive things, how you take on things that you really shouldn't, right? 
if somebody posts something it's like it would get you annoyed and it, it was it was almost like a trigger to get you to heal something or a trigger to get you to realize something that you were suppressing so that is all being cleared out there is definitely here a huge transformation that um some of you are definitely going through and and it's almost like while you're in the midst of it aries there is this energy of like am i ever going to make it to the other side am i ever going to make it through and the answer is yes just be patient um do not try to rush through this transformation do not try to rush through anything um just allow things to fold on na um naturally because if you try to force anything, it's almost like you're getting yourself stuck. Again, there is a lot of increase, a lot of moving on, moving to the next level, whichever area of your life it is that you may have felt that you were struggling. There, There's just opportunities left and right, and some of you are not are not seeing it because you're stuck too much on what hasn't worked or what has had you stuck if that makes any sense so just allow yourself to receive is the main message because again you're ready you're ready for this transformation to be over you're ready to move to the next level this relationship for those of you that it's in regards to relationship, this relationship is ready to move to the next level. And for those of you, when it comes to career and finances, it's like it's, the time is here for things to change for you. So now let's go ahead and see. Let's pull out three cards for those that are dealing with love. Three cards for those that are dealing with love spirit. Three cards for those that are dealing with love. So again, here we have the five of pentacles with the queen of pentacles and the devil. So what I see here is that there are, there's past energy here. Um, and you see how in the top it says um, worry. There's definitely this energy here of be. Like, it's almost like you're worried that this person is going to either repeat an old pattern or they're going to make you um, experience things that you have experienced in the past. This is more of a mind game. Uh, it's almost like a temptation of yours where when you feel that things are going to go south, right, or that things are not going to work in your favor, then it's almost like you got on the, on the defense, right? And there is here a need to, to understand and to realize that with every relationship, with every connection, there is always a chance for things not to work out. But if you're focusing on whether it is or not going to work out, then you miss the experience of the being, of the the experience within itself within the relationship again wh whoever it is that is in a love connection here it's almost like you're worrying for no reason you're worrying because of things from the past and that definitely needs to let go be let go of stop living in the past what was that quote that um there was something that i have written recently and it was something along the lines like if you continue to relive the past it's like the past is the only thing that you're continuing to manifest. So for those of you that are, um, the reading has to do with love. It's like if you don't want to manifest the past, then stop worrying about it and just have faith that everything is going to work out. Because again, it definitely shows that this connection is moving to the next level. For those of you that um, the reading has to do with finances, let's go ahead and see. So we have the five of swords the empress and then the six of swords in the reverse so definitely with this energy is maybe there may have been a setback when it comes to your career with your finances maybe you have felt like you had lost something or maybe you have felt like someone had taken something away from you with the empress and the six of swords in the reverse there's definitely this energy like you're going to overcome this and you're going to be better off so if maybe if you got passed on for a promotion and somebody else got it over for you there's something better coming along if a business didn't plan out a collaboration or something with someone else maybe it's because you're meant to do it on yourself so it's, it's almost like you need to look at what didn't 
work out what you felt that was a defeat you have to look at it from a point of view that it wasn't meant for you and it was almost like you were going to struggle too much if your life had gone down that path so there's definitely a sense here of needing to recognize and realize that you are better off in the way that the excuse me guys where you are headed now or the way that things are headed now is for your best interest so let's go ahead and let's pull some cards out for those that are going through a major transformation it may feel like they're still kind of stuck let's go ahead and pull out some cards for those that are going through a major transformation So we have the High Priestess as your first card. Then we have the Eight of Pentacles and the Four of Swords, both in the reverse. So there's definitely an energy here of letting go. This transformation was teaching you or allowing you to realize or to see that there were people, things, places that you needed to let go of. There were things that were no longer for your highest good and they needed to be released. And that is exactly what you're doing during this transformation. Now, um, I wanted to go ahead and try this. Um, so if you have a question, I want you to focus on the question at this moment. Let me just go ahead and adjust this. Focus on the question in mind. So we have yes, maybe, no, and do not want to answer. If do not want to answer comes out, do not try and force it. It usually just means that either you're not there yet or there's still energies at play. And that's why you can't get a specific answer. So go ahead and focus on your question and let the pendulum answer. Do not want to answer. And again, and I guess I had to explain that because for you guys, again, there's some, there's energies that are still at play. And I feel that that has to do with, regardless of whether it's with finance, love, or the transformation itself, there's definitely this energy of needing to shift your perception, right? Needing to allow things to kind of like, it's almost like that energy from the past needs to be completely released in order to allow new energy to come in. So regardless of whatever your question was, allow yourself to release any attachment that you may have when it comes to wanting things to be a specific way well guys that is all that i have for your reading for this month as always thank you for all your love and support thank you for liking sharing and subscribing to the channel as well as donating if you would like a private reading the link to my website is down below along with the links to facebook instagram and patreon if you would like to follow me on those platforms sending every single one of you love strength and blessing guys take care love you all